Uh, hey, hello friend. Welcome back to this series. Uh, so uh, we have started the manual installation for uh, SCCM client and I think that is done and still it is running. Yeah, that's done. Let me check the control. Go to the control panel and see the icons. Refresh it. Let's see the configuration manager icon also came here. Uh, it's defined all these things in the general tab. If you see this general tab, it's saying the assigned management point is uh, the management point server name and self sign currently inter internet. I mean, it is an internet. I told you when the configuration boundary water is exactly the internet, right? And the site code is the mum and the user identification number and the version right and if you go to the component there are the lot of components are there it has been installed and actions uh, still there are the lot of actions are pending uh, uh, because uh, still the installation process is not completed it's still running so it will take time you know to uh, install there are the lot of actions will come and you can initiate that action run that action action i mean it can say it's a policies also and the site you can say the site already automatically come and if you click over here and configuration setting and the find the site it is discovering see configuration manager has successfully found and site manage this client this client is already assigned site that was found right and case and network these things are different but the actions so the uh, in in the accent tab there are the lot of you know actions will be there so it will uh, take time to come in okay so uh, here we need to go to the SCCM server now check whether the client is uh, showing active or not so for that uh, go to the devices yeah if you look at this client 01 uh, earlier we have seen that it was in the no status but it is an yes status that means the client has been activated okay so so we understand how we can do the manual installation of client now it is time to uh, do uh, the uh, automatically for that we have to be another machine that is sccm02 which we have already configured let me uh, on this machine to perform the uh, automatically installation i mean uh, automatically installation of uh, i mean client push installation right so for that what needs to be do go to the sccm server okay let this on the system yeah uh, okay for that timing we can i can explain you how we will do it so here uh, go to the administration okay yeah in administrator there is site configuration right and we have uh, in the last video we have uh, enabled the uh, fallback status point here from the hierarchy configuration right if you remember let's wait uh, um, yes it is loading So these are the roles has been installed uh, in a, in this server and this server is performed as a distribution point, as a fallback status point, as a management point, as a site database server also. It's a site server also system, a site system also, right? And here you have to go to the site configuration, the site. There should be a client installation setting. In this client installation setting, you have to click client push installation so here you need to enable uh, automatic site wide client installation was or you see there are the three options here server workstation countries and site system server also uh, you can do check over here always the install countries manager client on domain control this is not uh, required because uh, domain controller if anything if you s do some patching and if automatical restart then it might be a problem so in the production environment it should not be so i am also not doing this go to the account here you can the define the accounts new account so browse and uh, type in my scenario i'm using the administrative account administrator account 
okay but in the production environment there should be a specific uh, i think something mistake i have done my company administrator ADMINISTRATOR okay yeah so uh, because this is the testing environment I, I use the administrator but administrator account should not be used in production environment there should be a specific account for the spe specific roles right so need to give the password okay and verify it test the connection specify valid path okay you need to give the network path also i don't know um, why it is asking for the network uh, share your client post method yeah it is it will ask because uh, uh, you know we we need to give the client path here that's the reason uh, where is the client located in sccm server that is zero one in my case and uh, uh, it is mom right and here it's a client right it's the client folder correct okay it's a perfect test the connection the connection successful verified it should be verified otherwise uh, it cannot be suc success okay so press okay okay now the installation properties here the site code is mum uh, here one more thing you can add like your fallback status point uh, equal to you can define like a uh, uh, SCCM hyphen zero one this is our fallback status point right so um, I think why I mentioned it you understand right if sometimes the management point if not managed then fallback status point is the role where it can manage the unmanaged clients right that's the reason I am mentioned over here right In the last video I told you so apply and okay so the uh, what i had on i i just uh, you know uh, do this client uh, installation setting i went the client install setting here the option is uh, uh, client push installation in this client push installation there are some settings i have done i given the um, credential i provide the path where should we download uh, the content should be download and install the client that I define and which account should we do these things and where and which uh, object should be installed like server, workstation and uh, other things that thing I have detected right these three points I have done in the client push installation right so now uh, let's check whether it is uh, on or not yeah so let uh, login here one second I own the SCCM 22 I mean second is aware this is not correct I have to be on the client one which I should on uh, this is a client to right uh, I'm sorry but yes uh, the client uh, system is required right that is the that we have created for the secondary site right that we will do later but let's the discover client yeah uh, let it on so now what go to the SCCM server here we have to go to this again asset and compliance where the uh, devices collection is here okay and this device collection all systems are there yeah so uh, it this uh, zero one has been done with the manually right and it is activated right so now it's time to do uh, client to uh, which is uh, um, need to be pushed automatically I mean push the client right it's automatically so here what need to be do uh, let's check whether it is uh, uh, yes uh, it has been so login uh, yes now it is login and we have uh, initiate the automatically installation for that nothing you will do just right click the client okay or you can uh, if you want to um, complete group all systems you want to be uh, install the client from uh, client push method then you right click the all system uh, collection only because uh, for the testing environment I want to do it in uh, for this client to only so here click over the client installation 
so it will uh, come this kind of window click the next and uh, specify client push option allow client software to be installed on domain controller I'll always uh, install client software and you can check uh, all these things also or an issue okay click the next next close so uh, what we had done we just right click and install the client this option I have chose right install client right so uh, here uh, this is done right and uh, let me connect now we have to check whether why it is so small here ah yes ah, now um, open the task manager we need to check whether uh, the installation is started or not CCM no still it is not started okay uh, go to the SCCM server and refresh it and you can check the client check details also here it can be so client setting also it can be so default client setting priority summary let wait for some time it should be come go to the server uh, see now this has been started in client 2 and uh, we need to wait for some time to uh, install I mean fully install so it will come in control panel uh, let's uh, maximize it sorry let's maximize it yeah uh, go to the control panel Till the icon is not came so we have to wait for some time and till that time we can check the client one whether all the actions are came or not so click over the configuration manager last we have checked only the two actions are came see now all the actions has been uh, retrieved and uh, for this uh, you know if you uh, see we have deployed some software to the client if it is not installed and if you want to be instantly then you have to be run manually so it will the action should be you can run manually also to get instantly getting the application right what we have pushed from the uh, SCCM these actions also there you can do it manually okay there are different actions are there for the different work for the hardware inventory cycle to update the hardware details of the machine for the machine policies that it will retire for the software inventory cycle that will uh, uh, you know reflect the software inventory cycle there are a lot of things are there but this is the one but let's go to the client too which we have client push method yeah still it is uh, working so need to be it will take some time to complete so now the client has been installed uh, also icon it's came but still it is running because uh, all the actions are not uh, reflected here and the site code is reflected but still actions are not reflected see there are two actions reflect so a lot of uh, actions are there okay till that time we have to wait but if you want to review the logs how can you do it for that you have to go to the mine computer
and here go to the C drive go to the windows in the CCM folder see there is the logs so boy see there are the lot of logs are there it's uh, every logs defines the different kind of work so you have to be uh, you can review the logs and get to know that uh, the client status when you uh, deploy the some application or patching all these activities that uh, logs will generate over here you can identify okay the log location will be here whenever the installation the client will, the ccm folder will create in the windows and uh, here and in windows and also there are two folder that ccm case and ccm setup also will create okay but log file will be generated in the within ccm folder log folder will, and there are all the logs will be generated and you can um, diagnosis with the logs okay so oh, let me check whether the um, it is properly installed or not uh, yeah close it good uh, yeah still it's running not an issue no still not came all the action uh, i think that there is a program software so yeah it's came if you open it soft i'm sorry maximize it so you can understand yeah and all program uh, Microsoft System Center Software Center. Yeah, this is the Software Center window. Uh, here, whatever we deploy the application, that will be uh, you know reflect here. And uh, first, it will came here, then it will start the installation. Okay. Uh, because the, it is not properly installed that's the reason uh, it is getting late but if you uh, go to then the client to because it has been already installed properly right so if you open this here then I think it will work very fast yes close the control panel it's not required this thing is also not required this thing is also not required. Cancel it. Uh, yes, software center. Inclined to also not open right. Inclined one only. See the whatever the software will be deployed that will be available here that will show here and it will start the installation and the installation status also you can know with the step and installation software and options and options you will get the schedule uh, of the task okay uh, if you click over the option here it is schedule you can say no Sunday will be required like Monday Saturday whatever the thing is for your requirement you can do it also power management things also do it and do the deploy okay so now we have learned the uh, uh, manual client installation as well as the client push method so thank you very much for the watching this video and if you really like this video you, uh, you can uh, uh, like you, you can uh, like on my video and you can subscribe my channel to getting uh, new videos also and uh, I think we have completed yeah client post may installation also completed uh, in the next video we will uh, do some new things so till that time bye take care